Hello, and welcome back to Tomas Gaming. Uh, I'm playing Omen Sight. This is, I believe, episode four. Let's, let's, let's see if anybody says anything. I think we just go back to the Tree of Life, the end of time, yada, yada, yada. The world ended again. The witch is like, go back and figure it all the fuck out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just, I wanted to start there just to make sure that the witch didn't have any more story to say. Uh, so what we have figured out so far. One, I am a detective god. Uh, two, um, Draga, who is the cat general lady, serious business, um, of the main suspect of the end of the world. Uh, mostly have nothing to do with anything. She just comes and kills... Uh, Radica, who is a little bard who has a lot of magic and who makes a very desperate and bad decision uh, to turn into a deathless, which gets her murdered or turned into a weird god who has no emotions and is really insane, depending on whose story you're going through and who you decide to stab in the back. The only person we haven't done so far is Ludimir, and we will be doing Ludimir as soon as I spend all of my points on leveling up. And it's not like I even get to make a choice on leveling up. You just get whatever you get. That was too close, actually. I don't like how close that was. Grab and throw enemies. Finally, we can throw things. So we can finally throw barrels, which is nice. And you can just throw people the fuck off ledges. This is going to be... Reduce the wait time before being able to throw again, which is obnoxious, or do more damage with your Y, which is common. Um, also, I don't think I need the health. I'm not, like, getting low on health. I'm gonna do the the throw thing. I'll do the throw thing. And I'll also just get this for absolutely no reason, just in case I go and do her... Oh, wait! Can I get the... Yay, my sword's better! I wonder if it's actually getting bigger. Can I just max this out? Let's just max this out now. Cool. And then we don't have to look at that ever again. And now we are going to go to Ludimir. Blah, 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 the witch. Ludimir is, as I have mentioned in episodes one, two, and three, some ridiculous drunk who goes, oh, fuck that and I'll punch him right in his goddamn jaw. And now you get to, you get to see that for real. Listen to me. Oh, there's a bunny in the background. You down before you reach the gate. Look, he already said it before we got here. Suggest wait for it to be over. Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. Tickety boo. Squad along. Hooray! Rathika's mob. Everyone's up their arse with the big fight. This Besides, fucking guy. They'll just get in the way. Nah, I'll kill the emperor. Oh all my way. god! You know? You mean die trying? You better pay your tab before you. All of it. I would just yeah, like to say, yeah. just pull me another, will ya? spoiler alert, we are not going to find out how Ludimir gets to the the Emperor in this episode. Heads up, not happening. That seat's taken, mate. Shut the Ludimir, fuck up. There's literally not even a seat here. It's the Harbinger. And I'm a detective uh, god. Harbinger, my ass. Except, well, she matches. I love that there's a giant bear man in this. Fireboar. What animal is he supposed to be? I've seen a boar. What is that nose? What is that elephant trunk on a boar face? What mess? There's nothing happening in here. I just appeared. I'm off. Big day. <sighs> the Harbinger. Here. This will, be this will be interesting. This will be the end of the goddamn world. That's what the Harbinger does. Okay, so we go to Yarbox Temple. Which is where it was mentioned that the Godless Priestess hangs out. Or at least went. We don't even get to his evening. Just putting that out there. We do not get to his evening. I probably should. It would probably be better. You know what? Fuck it. 
No, I'm not gonna do it. We're really. Oh, I can't get to him. See that guy running in the background to close the gate? I don't know how to do it. Oh, I didn't even see that. Mm, there's too many shields. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -mm. Slow everybody down. Okay, so one of the problems was that they all had shields, and shields make you use your heavy attack, and heavy attacks are very slow. I don't know how you get this guy to not do that. I'm not going to get to the end of this. We might have to do the beginning of this again in the next episode. Here, because I insist. Our job here is insist on taking no his side path. Which I think is right here. I think immediately you don't follow him onto wherever the fuck he's going. Um, there's also something out here, but I don't remember where it is. I'm not going to break all these jugs. There's way too many of them. But what I am going to do is take a quick circle around. I think the yellow door... Oh, nope, purple door. Don't have a purple key, so I guess it's not here. Look, 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 though. What are you waiting for? Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Whee! New memory obtained. Indrik, the last meal. Young Indrik can feel Gulkrin's sinister gaze. The six-year-old's nerves scream. Right. You find out that Indrik was just a kid when he became, like, the emperor. And, like, he shouldn't have... That shouldn't have been his life. And it's really sad. And he's a mess. And I just said sad with, like, so many syllables. Sad. Alright. Alright. But I know better. What was this Whatever secret? This here must be huge. Anyway, it's a really matter to me. I'm here for one thing only. Make him answer for what he did. I don't know what he did, but I do know that this is a cracked wall, and since we brought a giant bear, we can use his bear attack, and he will knock this pillar over and break the wall. Thank you! And there should be more than just like level up stuff in here. But this game doesn't really have more than level up stuff in it. Which is both good and bad. One, it's good because I'm not gonna like make a shitty build like in Dark Souls 1 when I tried to go through the first playthrough. Oh damn it, I mentioned that game. I tried so hard. Uh, when I went through the first playthrough as a, <laughs> a faith only character and then there was just nothing to support it in the first game. Even though it's everybody's favorite. Um, Monsters. Yeah, he can knock down all these pillars. Which it points out here, I guess. No, it doesn't even point that out. But he can. But I'm not... I'm not gonna use it, because I think I need him to do it to something specific. Um... This kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed or Shadow of... Mordor. Um, where'd that? I can't even see him. All right, there he is. Okay, he knocked over some things, but there's a cracked wall right the fuck here. No, he doesn't. There's another cracked wall. There's two cracked walls. Get over here. Which one does he even get? I don't even know how to crack that middle one. Lousy construction. <laughs> Alright. That just gives me a little bit of leveling up room. I real I don't know how to get this. Oh god. Okay, so can't do it yet. Um, that's the door. There's one. I don't think that's the main door that I'm gonna. Ooh, wait. Can I like Oh, no. I just I just cannot. Oh, but I can go that way. There was another cracked wall here. Boom. All right. Doing great stuff. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Um I'm going to go through that. 
You know what? I'll go over here and see what he's up to, but I'm not going to follow him. Hopefully this doesn't force me to follow him. Hit the switch. <gasps> There's a door here. Huh. All right. So my options are, as I well know, I can... Please make him shut up. I can go through this door down here, which is what I'm going to do. But apparently there's a switch up here, which I guess I'll do in a future episode. Because you can't get the fuck back up there. And this has story stuff in it. Hit me up. What's up? Who is it? More Intric? No. More Traga? The Inheritance. We are on the heels of catastrophe. Rodentia is shattered. Draga tries to keep the distress from her voice, but fails miserably. Both nations are terrified. Begging your pardon, General Elia, but why leave now? This disaster in Rodentia, it could have been much worse. General, you know what happened. I made a vow not to speak of it. Draga, listen to me. I need to know if there is risk, a risk for something like this to happen again. That means travel all around Uralia. I cannot do that and lead our armies. What about the reports from Emperor Indric? He will get his reports. You will deliver them. Elia removes the coveted symbol from her own lapel and attaches it to Draga's. You are the general in charge now. You're ready, Draga. For years you have studied as my protege. My final order is that you honor my pledge, seek order and justice. If you must fight, do so with minimal bloodshed. Above all, fight so that all can find peace. Elia nods without words. She turns around and disappears into the night. This is just a a story about how Draga inherits the role of the head general. Uh, she has to go around and, you know, live life. What are these pillars here to break? There are clearly pillars. That's what happens when you approach a wall. You get this little circular thing. If I get it, Sorry, Mike. he won't come this far to break one. He won't come this far to break one. He will come this far, but there's definitely nothing here. This is the witch. Um, we're gonna break this one, I guess. It probably doesn't do anything. There's no way to get back up there, so... That's just life. We're down here. It's a shame. That's our life. This is exactly what I did last time, too. Oh. Ah! Oh man! Come on! Oh, I really... I, I thought it wasn't loading, and then it loaded all of a sudden. Wait, what's in here? Wait, relax. One sec. There's like bad guys in here. Yeah! That hurt me so much, so much. All right, there's some energy there. Oh yeah, uh, EXP there. And some EXP here. And a lot of nothing. Let's go. I want this health. I want this health so bad. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. What? Give it, give it, give it. Why was the, the pickup radius for that so small? Can't go this way. This is the way. I guess if you chose this guy as your first guy, you wouldn't go down and try to open that one thing to get a little bit of story. I think this is the room where you go off your path. He tries to go right, and he's like, Indrik is that way. And we're like, well, fuck that. There's an orange door this way. Am I wrong again? Where is this fucking orange door? <laughs> I don't know why I decided that, like, this was the moment. Oh, no, don't be stuck. Okay, 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 okay. Everything's fine. A door. Hmm. Safe, right? Harbinger. 
They say you show up when the world is about to end or something. Mm -hmm. That can't be right, can it? It's Cedric. He's done something. That's why you're here. All of that is true. That All of that is true. There it is. There's that door on the left. Okay. Anybody else with a sword? I mean, with a shield. Ooh, I broke so much. I am really lucky that didn't break. There it is. Oh, he even points it out. How nice. What a nice, friendly bear. This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. All the emperors are buried in there. Well, guess who's close to Hendrick? Indrick. Traga. Bye! He doesn't like going this way, which is, I guess, okay. He'll do it, but he doesn't like it. You're probably not supposed to do that. If I go the other way, he probably gives me another lock. Like, he probably unlocks something else, and I'm probably gonna have to do that on my own, but I insist on doing it this way because I don't know what's in the other direction. He's like, well, bye then. I can't keep Indrick waiting forever, so um, good luck with your uh, exploration. And he goes and punches Indrick in the face and dies, as we saw as we started the game in episode one. Okay, there's some stuff in the background. There's definitely a purple door and a weird tower. Trying to keep track? Not too great at keeping track of stories. It's like one of my flaws, which is why I will always, always try to give a recap because when I'm watching these videos myself, I never remember what happened. So again, we are a god detective, not a detective. Uh, I guess we're a detective god, not a god detective. And we are trying to figure out who started the end of the world and who killed... Was there stuff underneath there? It looks like there's stuff underneath there, but if I go down there, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not going down there. Um, the godless priestess. Oh, it was just a staircase. I think this level ends right here in this door. And that's why the bear leaves. And while you do not get, like, a new key? Oh, there might be a fight. Oh, there's definitely a fight. Let's do this fucking guacamelee enemies. I shouldn't come over here. Ah! Get off of the thing you want to throw- God damn it. I'm gonna die. You know what? You really shouldn't come over here. That's much easier to fight this fight when you're over here. Cause he can't jump. That big dude, no jumps. Then you can fight the big dude all on your own. Health! Stop strafing me. Stop strafing me. Yeah! Get shotgun sniped. Look at all that health, girl. Shit. That's a lot of health. Want it all. This is a thing. No. Okay. I remember the last time I did this, I killed all the little guys on the far side of that little ravine, and then I just tried to run past the big guy and go here, and he jumped onto this elevator and beat the shit out of me. So, that is why we did not do it that way. <laughs> you cannot use this elevator until that big guy dies. And now we're in the Forbidden Crypt where all the other emperors have been buried. Where possibly the Godless Priestess has visited. Spoiler alert, she visited it. There she is. Anything could happen now. That's Indrick, by the way. That guy with all the, or the antlers. I almost said ortlers. The guy with the ortlers? <laughs> oh, 
Why is she here? I still don't know, because this is where I stopped playing when I was like, this is a game that I should record. Why does she die here? I don't know. We go right back to the witch. Indrik's cruelty is revealed. Omen Sight, my first Omen Sight. Namesake of the game, roll credits and shit. Uh, I saw a bad omen. It was the goddess priestess being choke slammed. Harbinger, have you just seen a vision from Vera's past? The goddess priestess. Unexpected. I have much to tell you, so I need to bring you back to the tree of life. Excuse me, kitty cat. Sorry, my cat's on my desk. Bye, Ash. Most handsome little cat. That's where all the emperors are buried. I guess we never need to go back there. We did it. We went there. Omen site acquired. A thousand XP. I don't. I don't know if that actually helps with the leveling process or not. Okay, so we didn't even make it to evening. We only made it to the afternoon, which is what I mean. We didn't follow. Hmm, what is his name? Luminir? No, that can't be his name. I don't remember. We didn't follow the bear guy all the way to his destination. Terrible events leave traces in their wake. Harbinger, your search for the truth has created a bond between you and the priestess. And the priestess. You saw a key moment before her death. An omen that foretells Foden's return. The vision confirms our fears. The godless priestess has... <laughs> godless priestess. The emperor. But the question remains, where is her soul? Right, she's supposed to be reincarnated to stop no, that giant dragon thingy. And hoping for answers. Now you will rule. When you choose your companion, you will show them the vision. They will know it to be true. This is your omen sight power. With and this is where I stopped. Words, your companions will help you pressure Indrik, so you may find the soul of the priestess. But who should be the first to behold the omen sight? Ludomir, not Luminir. Draga, Oratica. Oratica. And we will decide who that will be in Act 2 in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!